Alden Aki here with a Destiny Age of Triumph video and this little video I'm going to show you that the opening of the Vault of Glass Door solo still works even at the 390 level and also a uh, location of a new hidden chest in the vault. Uh, that particular uh, route I took required a little bit of editing because I was using my Warlock and I can't jump very well with my Warlock so you'll have to bear with me on that one. But anyway, as we come in into the raid, seems to be taking forever. There we go. First thing we want to do when we land is immediately go to the Sparrow and haul it to Campus 9, which is this way. Should see a little, uh, sign pop up saying the spire is forming there it is and we just want to ease our way in here now to get up over this rock just strafe a little like so we want to make sure we go far enough back that campus 9 waypoint shows up there it is and now we sit and wait for two minutes exactly give or take a couple of seconds now this is still a public area so there may be other players going through the area and if they get close enough to the plates then uh, the Vex will spawn and go to a time gate and that ruins this effort so you have to essentially quit and try again. I did this on three characters today this is my third character and I didn't have any, any issues with that. Alright, still got a little ways to go here. Notice how I'm positioned. I don't want to creep forward. There we go. Oh, not yet. Thought I was ready to go there. And I literally am watching my I was watching my watch, if you will. From the time the campus nine waypoint came up until the time it's time to go is two minutes. We should be closing in on it here pretty quick. There we go. Now you'll hear a sound right there that's the sound of the spire formed if you don't hear that sound then it didn't and if you don't see that big tall block of uh, stone it didn't form but in my case it did go take this route here jump up here grab our sparrow again and head for the door I'm gonna do this pretty quickly All right, what I'm doing here is I'm jumping off of the uh, sparrow. I, I got to push my head as close to the, the sort of the crack in the door as possible. But you notice I got inside. You want to rerun that a couple of times just to see exactly how I did it. And now we're headed towards the Templar. And there's the first chest. That chest will always be there. First time you run this, obviously, for a character. And there's a legendary engram and some special. Now here, we're going to uh, take the route for No Time Explained. I don't know if you've, you've all have done that, but notice how I turned around and jumped down into this little area here. Again, this is a little bit edited because I did fail a couple of times at various spots in the jump. But just follow this route. It's the, it's the secret path to the Templar well 
that you have to take for find that ghost in the no time to explain quest. Yep, there was another. There's a little spot where I failed. All right, jump down. Jump across. And there's the chest up there in the distance. Again, another legendary engram. This time I got uh, some weapons parts. Now, the first time I did it, I actually got a knuckle, which is good for an enhanced drop at some point in the, in the raid when you activate it. But there you go. The vault solo door opening and new hidden chest. I hope this helped you. This is Olden Nakey signing off. Take care, everybody.